These points are great to compare against each other from this year's Miami Open, with Collins serving for the match and the tournament against Rabakana. And the reason why they're great to compare is because of how similar they are. And because of how similar they are, the main question I'm looking at is why does Rabakana win the first one and Collins wins the second one, allowing her to win the match? If the points are so similar, why does one player win one and the other player wins the other? And to answer that question, I think it's as simple as hitting down the line on the run is bad, hitting cross court on the run is good. In the point that Rabakana wins, she always hits cross court when she's on the run. She only goes down the line when it's hit right back to her. And in the point that she loses, she hits down the line on the run and falls behind, allowing Collins to win the match. I don't know if Collins is naturally a counterpuncher, but given the strategy that Rabakana chooses to do in the fourth match point, Collins has nothing to do but counterpunch, and it's an easy win for her. In the first championship point, Rabakana plays cross-court when she's on the run and keeps Collins off balance, never really allowing her to get her footing and a lead in the point. As we're looking at the points, you can see Collins serves down the middle, same exact place in both points. Rabakana makes contact with that return, same exact place in both points. Collins plays a backhand as the first shot off the serve uh, in both points. She's not really pulled that far wide in the fourth match point. In the first one, she's dealing with that right down the middle. Uh, in both cases, though, she goes wide cross court or deep cross court for Rabakana to cover and Rabakana is on the run in both of those. In the point that she's successful in, Rabakana goes cross court, keeping Collins off balance. In the point that she loses, she goes down the line. And even though it might look like Collins is off balance, all she has to do is redirect into the open court, and Rabakana has much more court to cover. When Rabakana is now running to that one in the fourth championship point, she decides to go down the line again, at which point Collins is again able to redirect into the open court and Rabakana loses the match and the tournament. In the first match point, however, after Rabakana goes cross court off of that initial backhand that she's running to, Collins kind of mishits it, goes right back to her, and Rabakana is able to go aggressive down the line. And so even though Collins is in a roughly the same position she is in both points when she goes cross court with that forehand because of how aggressive Rabakana is able to be with that one she's able to hit it and then recover a lot quicker so even though Collins is still running her she's not moving as fast as she was in the point that she loses and as she's running to that next shot she doesn't go down the line she goes cross court and in this case it's enough to actually wrong foot Collins Given that she won a point in exactly the same positions that she was in the fourth championship point, I don't know why Rabakana did not use the same strategy in both points to fend off another championship point. But great job to Collins for capitalizing on the opportunity that she had, hitting it into the open court, and also playing cross court when she's on the move. If you're taking anything away from these points, play cross court if you're having to move wide to the ball and only go down the line if somebody hits the ball right at you.